right, time to drink some bourbon. Public. I'm Dutch. Jules here. Dylan. And welcome to another one of our drink throughs. That's right. We're going to be doing a drink through of Mash Bill number two. Yay. What is Mash Bill number two? Well, it's uh, maybe one of the more famed Mash Bills that come out of the Buffalo Trace Distillery. And we've got the entire uh, lineup. Actually, we should be specific here. The single barrel mm. Mash Bill number two bourbons, because there is. Uh, Ancient Age, which is a blended version from that mash bill that is also out there. But we're going to be focusing on these four bourbons. They're very popular. Um, they range in price, availability, and proof. And we thought it would be an interesting experiment to just kind of drink them one after another in series and give you some of our thoughts on them. Yeah. Well, you forgot that Buffalo Trace does not own this. That's right. Age International owns the Mashable Number no. 2 Expressions. Um, what's interesting, uh, probably the most well-known of them is this one here, the Blantons. John Wick. John Wick, famous there. Um, there's many different export-only versions of Blanton. Um, it's collectible. The bottle tops, Dylan's a big collector, you know that. He's got his entire lineup. Dare we say a hoarder. Yeah. He's got the whole horse line up there. And know. it spells out Blanton's. Spells out Blanton's, and the horses actually kind of move. It he even like bought a... the shelf, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this, so you can put the corks in there. I thought he made that. Oh, did he? Arts and Crafts Day, remember? Oh. Anyway, this is a very popular expression from <laughs> Buffalo Trace. Um, let's just go down the line really quickly just to introduce all of them. Or should we just drink them and go? We'll think? just go one at a time. We'll go no, one at a yeah. time. So the first one is Hancock. Mm. So Hancock... Reserve, um, and we've got open ones here behind them, so we uh, just kind of can demonstrate the balls here. Hancock's single barrel, they're all single barrel. Hancock's President's Reserve, it's a horrible name. <laughs> or if D <laughs> Dutch always calls it Hamilton's. Hamilton's, yeah, I do have a problem remembering it. Uh, clocks in at 88.9 proof, so it's the lowest proof of the of the collection. Hmm. Um, let's get poured and, and we can chat about it a little bit. I think, I think that is the best bargain right i mean yeah. it's it's readily available I, relatively speaking well Yay. i would say there's a very large chain liquor store that is in most states that tends to have it right mm -hmm. with a little bit of regularity and priced you know around what, 45 bucks yeah i mean it's creeping I would up say a little this bit. one's actually the most reasonably yeah i you mean know, like you can find it with the most reasonably priced actually yeah i think i think this one if you really want uh mashable number two yeah. I mean, this is crazy, right? This yeah. is impossible. This you never see. Oh. So, or you, yeah, you do, but it's behind like the yeah. glass and, cabinet and, at like quadruple yeah. the price. Yeah, people overpay this. I think this is, you know, if you want that that flavor. Yeah, and I've seen it ridiculously overpriced online. I mean, if you hop online, you might see it for like 150. That's crazy for I mean, Hancock's. Yeah. Oh, geez. What? Yeah. No. I have not. Yeah. Don't no. don't spend that. Yeah. Right? This is a forty to fifty dollar yeah. buy, and even at that, I mean, is it the best one at that price? No, but it's a nice one to add to the collection. Yeah. yeah. So immediately, you know, the the aroma yeah. is Mashable number two. Mashable mm -hmm. number two. You, it, I think mm. I think if you want to know what 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 it's like without breaking the bank, yeah, mm. I think this is a good one. I, I think. Sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the downside is that it is not as um, bold because of the lower proof. And I think some of the flavors don't pop out. So I'm thinking Elmer, balance and, you know, elegance. Uh, Blanton, a little bit of that kick. And then my favorite, Rock Hill, this is like jet fuel. So Yeah, I mean, but this is an enjoyable bourbon. I totally mean, enjoyable. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, to Dylan's point, I, I think the only knock on it really is just because it feels muted. But right. um, you know, compared to the others, so it's just very soft. Yeah, um, and it's it's trying to break through, but it's having difficulty. But it's a great like gateway. Yeah, oh, yeah. and I think Number I think two. super approachable. Yeah, right. super tasty. Very very um, fruit forward. Oh, yeah. Right, honey molasses. And it's cherry drops off man. pretty quick, yeah. but yeah. yeah, right. But it's tasty. You know, it's an interesting proof point too. You know, eighty eight point nine. <laughs> I thought it was an eighty nine. 88.9. <laughs> you know, what the heck? 88.9. It's like a radio station. Yeah. But, uh, interesting. All right. <laughs> Should we move on to Elmer Teeley? Elmer? 
Elmer. Probably, I mean, for a long time, this was my favorite out of all of these. I'm just gonna a little close up of the bottle here. I mean, it's kind of a mundane packaging. It's got mm -hmm. very cubed looking, uh, a very cubed look to it. it. Does say it's a single barrel. It's named after um, one of the prior master distillers, Elmer T. Lee. Legend. Legend, Elmer T. Lee. Um, you know, the guy that came up with Blanton's, right? And has the hat. Yeah, he's got the hat. This guy's copycat, basically. Um, this one kind of clocks in at 90 proof. Um, this was actually the one that I had tried to find it for so long. And when I finally had it, it was such an awesome experience. And it's always stayed with me. It's one of those flavor memories. I'm, I'm transported back to the bar in, in uh, New Orleans where I first had it. And it's just... Uh, it's always been nostalgic for me. Yeah. I would say for me, among the lineup, this one's always been the unicorn. Really? Like, it's been really hard to find. It is extremely hard to find. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen, I cannot, I, I've seen this too. on the shelf Same here. for, like, I mean, ridiculous I price, the prices, but it's there. But it's there. Rocket this and, you never yeah. see. Yeah, yeah you never so. see. Yeah. I mean, I, I lucked out once. I found it on the shelf at MSRB once. Yeah. After, you know, years of searching, and that was just sure. Oh, man. Yeah, so mm. I think... You know, we talk about, let's say, Pappy Van Winkle, how it's the honey barrel, right? I feel like this is the honey barrel for mash bill number two. Oh, yeah. You know, this, really is, nice. this is kind of Sweetness. the best of the best. Oh, yeah. It, you know, mm. it, and, it's, and it's really smooth, very, very, very uh, mellow. Mm. Um, but the sweetness and everything is just like cranked up, right. All even flavors, though it's the lower yeah, proof. Flavors right? are cranked up a bit. Definitely when you have it right after the Hancock. I mean, flavors are cranked up, and it's actually smoother. Yeah, in the Hancock. Yeah, and actually, I haven't had it in a while. And I mean, dude, I, it's same. It's more savory than I remember. It's delicious. It's a really it's great flavor. You know, delicious. Yeah, it's yeah. So good. Mm. But is it worth the secondary price? Heck no. No. I mean, at MSRP. Well, this is like what a fifty dollar. I will defend the secondary market in that. I mean, if I really wanted to have it again, I mean, I do have a bottle. I was able to get one, actually two, the last time I purchased these and found them. But yeah, it's I don't know. I mean, for me, it it's, might it's, be worth it just to have it back on there, like once I finish my two. But I feel like it's the kind of thing if you are patient and you just keep keep checking, yeah, just keep an and, eye and out it, for it. It might take you a year, but you can probably yeah. get one around MSRP. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, you got to be a little bit lucky and you have to be very persistent, but you can do it. But I mean, I just don't understand. I mean, I've seen this thing priced at like one hundred ninety nine dollars and yeah. higher. Like, oh, there's yeah. no way in the world, really, that any of these are worth that price, no. No. considering what they are. They're all excellent bourbons, but they're all. All the MSRPs on these are in the fifty to sixty dollar range, and that's where they should be. That's totally reasonable for these. Exactly. Mm. Great flavor on that elder. Yeah, just, just you know, the the stewed fruit on this is incredible. I mean, oh, it comes yeah. through, yeah. and again, it, it feels like you know you have the rest which was used for Hancock, yeah. and then this is kind of the the creme de la creme. <laughs> yeah. And they brought it out and they bottled it. Yeah. Cranked up the the proof just a little bit, yep. and that was just enough to get that. Really, really great, great, rich flavor. Great, rich flavor. Mm. All right. So well, let's move on to probably the most famous or infamous Blanton's. All right. So Blanton's, guys, uh, the probably one of the most famous bottles out there. I mean, mm. it's a beautiful bottle. You got the horse. You got the little number, or sorry, the letter on the horse there by, by the bottom of its leg. Very, very cool looking. This is the... The hand grenade, the holy hand grenade, the Fabergé egg, it's exquisite. It's the drink of John Wick. <laughs> John Wick. So I have the blood oath here. Wow. Somebody say nerd? <laughs> um, yeah, because he actually bought that thing. <laughs> you know, I think it's, uh, what's interesting Thinking is... Thinking he could redeem it someday. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to find a hotel. Right? Yeah. Continental. The Continental. So this is one that, I mean, I'm, I remember it, it, in the days where... You, you could find it on any shelf for about 50 bucks. Yep. Yeah. And that was the first time I had it. I was like, whoa, that's really good. And I never felt bad because it was always there. And every time I wanted to go get a bottle, it was there for 50 bucks. And then yep. it ends up in movies and TV and uh, the bourbon boom happens. And now you can't find it anywhere. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely one of those where it benefits that. I mean, the bottle looks great. It's, you know, it's so easily recognizable. Gift. Makes a great gift. And yeah, I mean, it looks great on camera, obviously. And it actually tastes good. So yeah. And, and you can it. find it every year. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I yeah. wait around and, it's good. and you know, sometimes I go into these stores and then it's like, oh, there it is. So I just pick one up. Do you say retail. whoop, there it is? Whoop. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 
Um, I feel like every maybe like once or twice a year, the big warehouse stores get it, and they price yeah. it at like fifty six bucks. Mm -hmm. They sell out in the day. But if you happen, I mean, I try to check it kind of regularly. Day. Yeah. And if you happen in there, I mean, it's a great time to pick one up. Um, I, at least where we are in Southern California, I feel like you can find it at around sixty to eighty bucks with some regularity. Um, that being said, most liquor stores you walk into, they're going to have it in the hundred hundred dollar plus range. That's too much. This yeah. is too much. Yeah. So how would you describe this relative to these other ones? It's interesting. You know, it's got a slightly different flavor to yeah. it. Yeah. And, yeah. It, you know, the, the proof is bumped up. Now we're at 93. Um, it's almost, it has more spices mm -hmm. than the others. Yeah. It That's still has that to. fruit hit, but it's got like the cinnamon sprinkled in. Yeah. I would say, I would describe this oh. as, as like a huge uh, jam fruit forward. Elmer? Yeah. Less spice. Yeah. Uh, you know, it is the creme de la creme. This one starts, you know, punching. Yeah. It starts, uh, it, there's a little bit of that slight harshness. Yeah. And it does punch through. It makes it, it, makes it a really nice drink. It's a great drink. Um, definitely stronger. Obviously, the proof is higher. Um, but, but I do think that this one, if you want just kind of... Elmer? Yeah. yeah. If you want a smooth, rich jam experience, this is it. If you want that punch, you want a little bit of that proof kicking in, go this is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's really even a punch. I, I think if you just want more of like the... Um, like the spicier notes, mm -hmm. really. A whip? I'm not really getting. Well, what it's kind of like yeah, is like I'm not you're, making, uh, you're it's... making a cake batter. Yeah. It's here. When you add the cinnamon and spices, it's here. It's moved yeah. on to the blanket. It's there like it's, it's I like that. It's the same core, but yeah. it's got a little more sprinkled in there. Okay. And I will say, I mean, uh, you know, we should point this out that these are all single barrel bourbons, and despite quality to, uh, quality control at Buffalo Trace, which they do a very good job of keeping consistency among the single barrels, there is always going to be some variation bottle to bottle. Or barrel to barrel. And I know that we've experienced a bottle of Blanton's in the past that was just kind of a dud. Like, yeah, I agree. You know, hey, that was okay. Yeah. It's the same core, but it wasn't particularly interesting. Yeah. And then every once in a while you'll have one that's just amazing. And this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. This is this is a pretty good bottle. All right, guys. Shall we move on to Rock Hill Farms? Yeah. <laughs> maybe we save, uh, yeah. save the best yeah. for last, maybe. The Rock Hill Farms single barrel bourbon. This one clocks in at 100 proof. Look at that Going beauty. Up, baby. Got a horse on there. Triple digits. Yeah, the ho horse motif. I mean, it's a little bit cheesy yeah. looking, but it's, I mean, it's so iconic. Is it cheesy just because of the horse that's on the front? Eh. It's not a I very mean, modern. I, I love that bottle. It's not a very yeah, modern. I love design. that bottle. And you can see here, actually, it's got the, the price sticker there. It's like you have one right here, too. Yeah. Yeah. The, the price sticker says $89.99. I actually talked the guy down to $79.99. Nice. Wow. And that was, uh, that was, was a that, while ago. I was going to say, was that like after three bottles yeah. of. And this is all I have left of my <laughs> yeah. other bottle, so we're going to nice. kill it yeah. probably here. Or did, you, did you tell him, like, I'll do anything? Anything <laughs> for $10. You guys don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know what I had to do. To get that bottle. Yeah. Um, so 100 proof. I mean, this is the Finally. one. This is the one that I think bourbon lovers really, really love. Yeah. Because you're getting to that proof that is really, really a sweet, sweet spot for bourbon. Um, I don't love this huge hollow glass. Stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love this bottle. And, you know, I wish I could find it. It's so hard to find. You know, at, at retail? Well, yeah. I was going to say, it's not that hard to find. It's just for the right price. That's I've owned four bottles of this in my life. Wow. Ooh. And, uh... Yeah, as Humble Dylan has, like, eight. eight. No, <laughs> like, and I got my one. How many bottles of Weller does Dylan have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two um, cases? And, but what, just my, back up. I was trying to get to my point, which is... In the last two years, probably, I haven't found another bottle of it. Mm. True. You're right. Same Same. And I paid, there. I think that was the one I paid the most for, which was 80 So, I mean, you, you yeah. if you're diligent, you can find it. But these days, with the craziness, I don't know that you can find this for under 200 bucks. Yeah. I really mm -hmm. don't. I do want to ask, so where do you think this ranks? I mean, in term, relative to all of this, how would you describe this? If, if no one has tried this before and they've never seen this before, like how would you describe this within the context of mm. Mashville number two? It's mm. cranked up is the best way to describe it. Mm. And I feel like what I get with Rock Hill that I don't get with any of the others is additional fruit components. Mm. Like I get a cherry hit in addition to the fruit that you get with the Elmer, in addition to the spices that you get with the Blantons. It kind of has all that, but it's just kind of amped up a little bit. It's, it's a really great drink. It might be 
a little bit um, a little bit of a big hit if you're a new bourbon drinker. Mm. Like this is a nice progression, but if you're new to bourbon, I would say maybe start down on this end, work your way up because the spices can be a little challenging for for novices. Yeah, and it definitely has that. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to use an analogy here um, with like relationships. So I would say this would be okay, Doctor Phil. Yeah, this is like a demure, yeah, Elmer is a demure, like a Victorian girlfriend or boyfriend. This one's the crazy ex girlfriend slash boyfriend. You know, this is the one that hmm. that is a little bit They're a little fiery, insane, fiery. You know, and, and fiery. you know, there's a lot of punching and kicking, but you know, it's still interesting, right? Here, it's just you know, kind of very very uh, delicate, right? So what's the uh, what's Han- Hamilton's Hancock's whatever? It's the I one you marry. <laughs> no, this one I think is the one you marry. This was the one night stand. Oh, oh wow. What? Yeah, okay. All right. You wow. cut all that. <laughs> I'm not sure where you're going with this. But... Best way to I got describe nothing it. To, to compete with that. Um, no, well, actually, I mean, the way I would describe it is uh, more on, uh, I, I mean, I would even go, this is like the, the connoisseur level, really, if, if I was describing this to a noob. Mm. Um, mostly because, yeah, I mean, I think you do need to build up the palate to tease out more of like the spice components and to really enjoy it actually yeah um you know i think that's the big thing I but i would actually even say like um obviously hancock's me the gateway but like elmer t lee man is the sweet spot yeah. to like give to a noob and like you know like the like an enthusiast yeah i think know, what so. this the best way i can describe this is you're you're starting here and you're cranking up this intensity dial all yeah. the way mm-hmm. and you know it's like when you're listening to a song like this is normal you turn it up a little bit when it's a good song and then sometimes you want to crank it when you get down here, right? Yeah. But that's not always, you can't keep doing that or you'll mm-hmm. go deaf. Yeah. So I feel like I agree with you. The sweet spot's somewhere right around here for yeah. me. I, I mean, and it depends on what I'm doing. Yeah. Like if I want to if I want to have a friend over that loves sipping something, I'm going to reach for these. Because yeah. it's like here's a really cool flavor experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the one you pull out if somebody is really into a bourbon. This is the one you pull out if somebody's just getting into bourbon. You're like, hey, you want to take it to the next level? Yeah. These are the ones where I'm just chilling out. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. just chilling out. Maybe it's a barbecue. You want to pour something in a cup and enjoy it with friends. You're having conversation. You're not super focused on the drink. Right. I think with Elmer, you're going to have an amazing experience. Oh. With Hancock, you're going to have a great experience. Yeah, I think this right. is the barbecue. The bar- like yeah. if I if I use a flower analogy, I'd say this is a daisy, right? And this is a no black daisy. rose that you like hit somebody. An axle rose? I don't know who that is. Okay. Like you don't know who Megadeth is? <laughs> Wow, that's an inside joke. We should tell that story. We should tell that story at some point. Um, all right. I mean, uh, any any other summation there? You guys feel like you cover all your bases? Yeah, I think that's a good recommendation. I think uh, I, I I do again think that if you do see Hancock, this is what you should you should try to get yeah. that. That's again readily available. Yeah. Get get an introduction to Mashville. Okay, two. I got a question now. Mm. Would you pay a hundred dollars for any of these right now? No. Ooh. Oh no, yeah, this one. You pay hundred dollars? Well, yeah. Yeah. If you saw Rock Hill, okay. Heck yeah, especially yeah. I mean at that price point. In this, in this in this day and age, you know, 2020 when the bourbon boom is crazy crazy, yeah, I could I could rationalize spending 100 on Rocco to have another one. Yeah, but moment. again, also with how <laughs> infrequent I do see it, I would actually pay that for Elmer too, just wow. so I can get that bottle. See, I wouldn't. This one, yeah. the reason. No, I mean Rocco for sure, but I'm just saying I don't see this enough. The thing is, I've got a couple more of these stashed, right? So I don't know that I which would. I get. Yeah, which but I if I was on get. my last one, if yeah, this was my last one, then maybe, why. maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't. It's worth I, I, I would because this one, this one is really. I would only open it for people who've had a lot of bourbon, yeah. and say, you know, let's let's just you know take the mash bill number two to its extreme, and let's yeah. let's taste that, and this is this is where you get it. All right, well, great discussion, guys. This was a really fun drink through. Uh, let us know if you guys have ever done anything like this because these are kind of fun. Give us some suggestions for other ones. Absolutely, Jules. Let me up. know if you guys where I can get some Elmer T. Lee. <laughs> And hit that thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Hit that bell icon so you get notified when new videos get uploaded. And as always, stay curious. prices on these man i feel like we should have driven home more like don't pay markups for these yeah yeah stop doing it and then well you just did right there dutch yeah i think i think the gold (laughs) you're you're wowed by the gold 
But straight from the barrel, man, I, I, I really think that, that that's best bang for your buck. Crickets, crickets, crickets. 